It is now spring back in Paintsville, Kentucky, and that football superstar Sean Grimm has climbed a giant mountain all his own. Beating the odds, Sean Grimm becomes the first person in his family ever to get a high school diploma. Sean is on his way up and out because Pikeville College, about an hour from his home, has awarded him a football scholarship. He gets that surgery on his damaged knee, complete with tempting prescription painkillers, his mother, Tina. Okay, it'd be 150 for these 30. If I wanted to sell, I could get rid of it today. But my son is more important than a dollar. As we said, it's a big achievement for Sean to go to college. His stepbrother, little man, dropped out of school and has two kids. We were in little man's trailer when Sean played me that ringtone again. Can I see the dance you do to lollipop? I don't know the dance. <laughs> I bet you do. Seriously, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, so. But just as Sean is getting close to going off to his new life, a new blow. Little Man's girlfriend, the mother of his children, says at 3 a.m. she found Little Man and his 15-year-old half-sister out in back of the trailer having sex. Sean's mother, Tina, called the cops. Knowing they're, bl they're blood-related and knowing that that happened, that is really disgusting in my book. Sean's stepdad, Rick, says if Little Man comes around, he's ready. I'd blow his head off his body. I'd shoot my own mother. The parents are heading out to see their daughter, who's been taken to a social services facility. Later, Tina tells us she, too, was molested by a family member when she was young. Rick says this kind of thing doesn't just happen in Appalachia, it's everywhere. Well, you ever hear that old saying, the closer the kin, the deeper in? It doesn't matter who it is, they lay down, black, white, crippled, it don't matter. In tears, Sean's half-sister tells their mother that little man gave her pills or marijuana or money in exchange for sex, and back home says that wasn't the first time. It happens all so fast that you really don't know what's going on around you. You just go on, on through the days, you know, pretending like nothing's ever happened because you're so scared. Little man says he is not guilty. The mother of his children has now recanted her story. Well, unfortunately, Eastern Kentucky has a stereotype uh, of incest, uh, but it's everywhere. It's in the whole United States. And uh, we have to be able to make sure and get out that this cycle has to be broken. For Sean, anger and embarrassment. In the wake of all this, he goes off to Pikeville College to begin his new life, trying to upend all those stereotypes. These hillbillies don't want to do nothing to drink, do, do, do drugs the rest of their life. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Stereotype. Arriving at school, it's clear he doesn't have the advantages a lot of the other kids have. What's your story? I ain't got a lot of money and... You got a lot of money. What'd you leave him back home? A house. I slept wherever I fell asleep. For eight weeks, he goes to football practice, where his teammates are now twice his size. He also struggles in the classroom, says he's feeling overwhelmed. And by the way, his girlfriend from the right side of the tracks has long since broken up with him. Failing is probably, I guess, the biggest thing that ever scared me. I guess I'm just going to have to work harder and try harder. Even with the scholarship, he says he has no money for what other kids can afford, supplies, food, fun. After only eight weeks, he loses heart. He drops out and goes back home. Found out I couldn't pay for the college, had to come home. No one's perfect. Winter is coming, the family needs coal. So Sean heads out for one of those illegal scavenging trips on the highway wall on Route 23. And all the people whizzing by have no idea that the kid digging coal on the side of the road was once the hope and hero of Appalachian football. Now, on the side of the highway, nothing around the bend.